what you have done and what you have been able to do. We are like a little people, and never forget our friends. Have some and have some love. Forgive those who have made their faults, as you promised. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who repent, have mercy upon you. Father, deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen your goodness, and keep your life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We join the words of the Lord's prayer together. Our Father in heaven, that will be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily food. Forgive us our sins. As forgive those who are against us, lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise God for his mercy. And give us praise for O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall be filled with the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Our reading for today morning is Psalms chapter 92, verse 1 to 5. Our reading today is taken from Psalms 92, 1 to 5. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name for most part. To proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. To the music of the ten string player and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your gifts, O Lord. I sing for joy at the works of your hands. How great are your works, O Lord. How profound your thoughts. That's our reading for the same one. Praise of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and the born of the Bible of Mary. He suffered under the punishment of the Lord, was crucified, died and was buried, he descended in the dead, and the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and he sitting under the hand. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last day. We may see that I request the choir to give us a Sopa, 
I want to welcome my brother, Reverend Dr. Ben Muhire, Associate Priest from All States Cathedral, Nakaste. And also my brother, uh, the director, Juna Amagara Ministries, who has read for us a reading today. Also, I think it's for us to be connected with the family team position. So you are most welcome. I also have to recognize the presence of family TV that is projecting this service live and whoever is watching. They are all most welcome. As you know, my area of service is in Chitezi, where the catastrophe failed. You heard of the WD field that he covered a number of people. Indeed, it's not only covered but boiled. It boiled the people. And up to now, we have just got 25 bodies and police stating, but we hope there are still more. For well, the thing moved like two miles, you know, it moved two miles, covering a number of houses and a number of people. The work is still much, it can take almost a, like a year, not even a week, not even a month, but a year. To remove, if one to search thoroughly, one by one, mountain of cabbage covered a number of people. And uh, the buffer line that you always hear, they say it is 200 meters from the sea. So those who are not, I mean, who are not affected by the garbage and the they are all displaced. And we have them covered at our church, and the Red Cross and Office of the Prime Minister, uh, we are taking control of these people. But we thank the Post Church and uh, other wishes of Christians that of good heart and faith, they are trying to bring some help to them. And what is most touching if you're a mother, there are those who gave birth just on arrival, who have left there, who have children, about 150 of them, children, and their mothers also there. The fathers were buried in garbage. Some have not been yet seen, and the, the thing is like that. Situation is not so good, and when you come that side, you detached. So today, when it comes to our giving, I uh, wish that we are going to take it there for their home. Because they need a lot, especially these children. They need a lot of new pampers and so forth that children normally You So we are going to give it as an aid to them. So, that is the situation. More can be said, but those people have words of hope. This morning, we are privy that I only speak to you, but the Holy Spirit has chosen the Lord Dr. Ben to speak to us. So may we stand and sing that hymn, uh, 173. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus as he shares with us the word. 173 in the Uganda youth pray. Trust in Jesus, just to think in what is wrong, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the saints are Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I trust him, all I Jesus, Jesus, 
a special way this morning. We ask in your sweet and powerful name. Amen. 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 Run Media House. So I want to invite Dr. Uh, get off the phone and come and uh, share a little bit about Family TV and, uh, and then I will share the word and we wrap it up. So come, come quickly and uh, tell. Uh, good morning once again. Good morning. Um, my name is Osborne Mukisa. Uh, and I'm glad to be here. You have such a very good culture here. I wish I would be here every morning to pray to you and to pray with you. Well done uh, to the organizers, Carol and Tim. Thank you very much. Um, like I said, we came uh, a team of uh, about four or five people. Um, they are inter interculture, I would say. Um, the Reverend Doctor. Ben Tumhiri has just uh, mentioned his name. We came, uh, uh, he's uh, representing the church. He proceeds with All Saints Cathedral, like I do. Uh, but we also came with another colleague of ours, um, Edgy, who is uh, making sure that we have pictures, you could stand up and so people can see you. We came with another. Uh, Lady Prima, she here. Yeah, she's behind there. And um, is anyone else? Yeah, okay, I think uh, those are the. Where is Noela? Oh, Noela is there. Thank you so much, Noela and Prima, for coming. Uh, Noela, Prima, and Agent work more with the TV um, to make sure that they bring. Uh, programming to our houses. Um, Church of Uganda Family TV is a, is a media entity, the media television entity of the Church of Uganda. When I say Church of Uganda, I mean the province. And the province of Uganda has 39 dioceses across the country. So, family, Church of Uganda Family TV is not only a media entity of the province, but also one that helps build spiritual nourishment and uh, social economic development. Uh, it's, it's been running for the last three years, running for the last three years, um, and by God's grace, we've been able to support it as shareholders to know that we can get it to, to, to get started. Um, I'm an, economist. I'm an economist by training, I'm not in the church, but that's for another time. Uh, but most important is that we seek um, such engagements, such fellowships with um, entities like JMS. Um, I see two faces that I know personally. Um, and of course, the MD. I know him personally, so I'm glad that I know someone here. Um, most importantly is that we Thank JMS for this opportunity to be with you today, to fellowship with you, but most importantly to tell you who we are as such a good family TV. Um, our values that we stand for, trust, honesty, accountability, and efficiency. Um, and more importantly, in last year, last year, um, the House of Bishops and the Provincial Assembly, which are the supreme governing bodies of the Church of Uganda, um, gave us the month of August, gave Church of Uganda Media Houses the month of August as a month that they can fellowship with uh, different entities and have a uh, communion with them. So it's such an occasion that we are here. And um, we pray that even for Shenzi, we pray that the Lord continues to restore and bring sanctity, especially the hearts and men of those charged with leadership, 
take better decisions and benefit all of us. Um, last, uh, lastly, I would like to, even after here, uh, once in a while when you're back in your homes, in your very good, nice homes, um, tune in to Hachi Bukata Family TV. Uh, we run commercial programs Monday through Saturday, and then Sunday for mainly spiritual nourishment of things, which is services, I think, from morning to evening, for about 8, for about 5 in the evening. So uh, that's 395. Uh, yes, Steve? 375. And then start? 282. Start time 282. And DSTV 375. Um, with those many words, I want to wish us a good fellowship and uh, may God bless all of you. Thank you. I am about we are going to be quick. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. I put my trust in Jesus in 1985 when I was a stubborn student at McKinnon University who was arrested by the Inspector General of the Police Force of Uganda, taken into an underground prison where in fear and hopelessness I cried to the name of the Lord. And the Lord heard my cry and the Lord delivered me from the power of death and destruction. So I stand here as someone who is committed to praising the Lord as the psalmist said that it is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name of Most High. There are many people with titles, there are many people with positions, but there is no one who has the position of the Most High God. Give him a big hand clap. He is worthy to be praised. And so the psalmist calls you and I and says, it is a good thing to praise the Lord. We say God is good. And the response is, and all the time, and as children told me when they were doing PLE, and I was going through and praying for them and they said, especially now, 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 now. They said they wanted to see God's goodness in enabling them to get good grades. So it is good to praise the Lord. When we wake up and we are ready to say good morning, it is good to praise the Lord. When it is afternoon and we say good afternoon, it is good to praise the Lord. When the sun is setting and we say good evening, it is good to praise the Lord. When we are going to our beds and we are bidding good night to each other, it is good to praise the Lord. Because God is the constant in all this. He does not change. You know, we change clothes, we change uh, our, our facial uh, our looks, we, 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 we change our sizes over time, and we change offices, but God does not change. Hallelujah. And so that is why it is good to praise Him. And not only to praise Him, but to make music. Thank you, choir. Wonderful music that you have. Exactly. <laughs> You know, I think you should be given time on family TV and, and you do some presentation. I am I'm going to make sure that you come. You know, you should come actually on September 30th, uh, 20th. We are going to have an overnight. Those who want to, to come and be in a, an overnight of prayer, deliverance, and healing, you come. And so this choir is going to be invited to come and participate in praising the Lord. We are to proclaim the love of the Lord in the morning and his faithfulness at night. You know, many of us like to be told we are loved. And so we are to proclaim the love of God. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son the Jesus Christ that it is so sweet to trust. He is 
sang about he is prayed to and he is loved because God loved you and God loved me and love is a powerful resource that all of us crave for hallelujah Amen. love is a resource that is not a material resource because it does not appear on the periodic table it doesn't have mass it doesn't have volume therefore it is not categorized in material categorization of the elemental materials and resources yet the world is a better place families are better places church is a better place when the love of god is evident when the love of god is shared when the love of god is there it is very important for us to understand this that we should proclaim god's love in the morning you know i love you lord thank you i love you jesus thank you speak those words because they actually change you you may not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife jesus is there to declare and proclaim your love too hallelujah how many people are married let me see show of hands how many people are married how many of you this morning declared your love to your wife or your husband you know how many of you declared love to god you say god i love you you know uh, people accuse me i shout i shout actually when i was a lead, when i was the leader of the strike at Mateo university i shouted i shouted i shouted people out of lecture rooms i shouted uh, uh, staff out of offices i had a megaphone because i worked with scripture Eden for many years and i come from together where we shout you say good morning over the valley you stand on one hill and you call the neighbors on the other side and they hear we have in a built megaphone hallelujah so the bible gives you an eye license to wake up and shout love to the lord hallelujah so we are going to do that we're going to declare one two three i love you lord <laughs> hallelujah yes we are told to do that proclaim your love in the morning the love of god you see you and i are here because god is love none of us made an application you might have applied to joint medical school to get a job but none of us applied for God's love. It's a gift. Give God a big hand clap. For us in that. And then God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. You wake up, you declare God's love, and go through the day. In the day you experience the mighty works of God's hand. Verse 4. For you make me glad by your deeds, O Lord. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. God handles you and handles me and handles everything. The Jesus that we trust, Paul, a hater of Christians, Paul, one who didn't know Jesus, had the privilege of encountering the reason Jesus Christ. Paul never lived to see Jesus alive like you and I. But Paul was met by Jesus and Jesus introduced himself to Paul. And Paul experienced a life-changing transformation. That is the Jesus that I have proclaimed since that time because he changed me from a thief, a sinner, a fighter. I was arrested and left my girlfriend in bed and I was on cement in an underground prison and then i read the bible 
because I didn't have any discussions. My professors were not there, my discussion groups was not there, so I had a discussion with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And we discussed, we read the Bible, and he told me what he told me. I asked questions because I was, you know, I didn't have anything else to do. And then I came to Romans 10, 13, that says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. A Catholic who calls on the name of the Lord gets saved. A Muslim who calls on the name of the Lord gets saved. A Protestant who calls on the name of the Lord gets saved. A Muchika who calls on the name of the Lord gets saved. A Kapa who calls on the name of the Lord gets saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord is saved. So salvation is your right by faith. Salvation is your divine right. All you need to do is to call on the name of the Lord. And you, need, you don't need air time to call on the name of the Lord. You have breath time. And so we are going to call on the name of the Lord. Because the Lord is faithful. His promise is that whoever calls on him will be saved. And that's why it says it is good to declare the faithfulness of the Lord at night. And then to make music. So how many of us want to call on the name of the Lord and experience salvation and deliverance and blessings? How many of us want to call on the name of the Lord? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. And maybe some of you have already called on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, raise your hand and we'll call on the name of the Lord. Because we need to call on the name of the Lord. When we do, he hears and answers. Lord God, this morning we are here at Joint Medical Store. And we are calling on your name, O oh Lord Jesus, for salvation. We are calling on your name for the salvation of our brothers and sisters. We are calling on your name for the salvation of our parents. We are calling on your name for the salvation of our colleagues. We are calling on your name for the salvation of fellow Ugandans. We are calling on your name, O oh Lord, for the salvation of our children in schools and those who are coming home for holidays. We are calling on your name, O oh Lord, for the salvation of politicians. We are calling on your name, O oh Lord, for the salvation of those who are suffering the incidents of that Adamic ground collapse. We are calling on your name, precious Jesus, because you hear us and you answer us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So I called on the name of the Lord and the Lord, the Lord had me. I got out of prison. I was taken to court. The Lord was with me to court. I was charged for holding an unlawful assembly. The Lord was with me. I was released on bail, taken to meet the president of Uganda then, Obote, and he said he was going to kill me because I was his enemy. He showed me his bodyguards, very strong, Kanyamas, wielding AK-47, fierce looking, and he said, you know, these ones are here to do one thing, to protect my life. And he said, just one word, and you're finished. He said, do you know what that word is? I said, no, your excellency. So he whispered, he said, it is short. And he told me he whispered because if I had said shoot, they would have shot me. So I had learned the word the same. The anti-shoot word is safe. And I, I am here to tell you about the saving power of Jesus. And I find well. And the body is not here in spite of the bodyguards that he had. Jesus saves and Jesus gives. I want to recommend Jesus to you, my brothers and sisters, because he is a mighty savior. It doesn't matter what you're going through, when you call on the name of the Lord, he hears and situations change. Not only am I a priest, but I also work with the organization called Shunamagara Ministries. We support orphans 
and widows and we do actually health care provision in communities that are in need. Juna Magara Ministries at one point bought medicines from this place. So I invite you to call on the name of the Lord without tiring, declare his love and know his faithful. Hallelujah. Those of you who want to put your faith in Christ for the first time this morning, again, raise your hands and I pray for you. I invite you, thank you, thank you there. Who else, thank you, who else wants to go put their faith in God? You thank you, thank you, anyone else, you come here, don't be afraid, you come here, you come here, come, I know she, she says it is very important to keep time, but time belongs to God, and for a child to be born again, it is worth taking the time. Hallelujah, thank you. Who else, who else? I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. You know the Bible says heaven is now party after party. Angels are celebrating because these have made a decision to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. And some of you may have accepted Christ in secondary school and in primary, but then you backslid. You made those slay queens and slay kings and they deceived you that they love you much is and Jesus and then you backslid, but you've discovered they have betrayed you. They have no they are not as faithful as God. You want to say this morning I'm coming back to my Jesus. You also raise your hand. Let me see you. Raise your hand. You're saying I'm checking those slay queens and those slay kings who are liars. I am coming back to Jesus. Let me see. Raise your hand. You also come and join me. And I pray for you. Hallelujah. You also come. You also come. And and, and don't sit there. God knows you and you know yourself that you're a backslider and you are living a life. So you come. You come and declare the love of God this morning. Please come. We, we don't have a lot of time. You come. This is your opportunity. This is your opportunity. My sister come. You come. I can see. I can see. You are struggling. You come. You come. You come. With courage, this is the opportunity for you to save life and come to Jesus. Hallelujah. My you will be thinking about it all day long. You know that Jesus has given you the call. Say, Jesus, thank you for this morning. I give my life to you. I surrender totally. Fill me with your love and the power of your Holy Spirit. Make me a new creation, a child of God. And give me power to be a witness, to walk in victory. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me today. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The giving in will be going or directed to those people in our camp. Him number 167, the Lord is my shepherd, and you give me.
fill it with your Holy Spirit so that you can continue to serve on and their state values and mission, inspire those who find things difficult in executing their tasks, bring and open more markets for them and for their produce, especially the newly created health clinic. Give the endurance and patience to all workers. Keep this institution with an spoiled name. Guard and guide all workers at all levels as they serve. Also help them to achieve their personal development and uh, set goals for the great institution. We pray for all clients and partners in business, all uh, in leadership, ranging from directors, management committee, the directors headed by executive director, all workers. May they all find your presence as they serve this nation. This I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You may have personal prayers to say. Please use a moment of one minute. God our Father and His Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and may the blessings of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that come without any trouble escorting them be yours as you work, be yours as you meditate on His Word, be yours as you continue to enjoy His goodness here, now, and forevermore. Amen. 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 We sit briefly and then we get to Mark's vision. Good morning, church. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Come on, James. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Indeed, today is a blessed day for us at Joy For turning up in good numbers, we want to thank the Lord for blessing us this morning. Uh, it is indeed wonderful, I think, to serve in the Joint Medical Store. Because I think if you did the census in Uganda and find out which companies have such a blessing, they are very few. So we don't take it for granted. We thank the Lord for it. We thank the choir. As usual, I want to add my voice to Carol. Thank you. Thank you. you know we appreciate you. By the way, we adopted them. They are now James Choir. Yes. So, uh, Reverend Doctor, when you want to take them, you have to go through us. <laughs> I want to thank Reverend George for always being there for us, for blessing us every day. And I uh, assure you that we are standing with you. The other day I saw you on TV having a service there, and I was like, much as it was sad, but I was like, yeah, that is our own. Blessing these people in each Tesi, and uh, we shall be with you. Reverend Dr. Ben, thank you very much for that service. To my colleague, I first saw Dr. Ben many years ago, you can't remember, but back then in Gueranyaji, these are the people who used to come for those exciting mission weeks. And the whole school will be on fire. Campus people have come, you know? <laughs> and he would, you know, he would bless us, and I was telling my colleague that Dr. Ben actually doesn't change that much. Back then, you would think, because we were young, I was in senior one in 87. Yeah, some of you are counting my years now. <laughs> but yes, that's how the Lord has loved me and blessed me. So they used to come, and back then, when you see uh, university students, they are like old, but now I see we are almost the same. <laughs> so thank you very much for standing with us, for giving us that word. Yes, indeed, God is love. We can't take it for granted. And for us in James, we know that very well. And as individuals, we thank the Lord for that's why he has brought us. They have told you we are 45 years giving the community the services that they deserve. And that is in the healing ministry, providing quality services, health solutions, and for the glory of God, again, how many companies have their vision that ends with God. So 
We are blessed as James. We are truly blessed. And thank you very much. Regarding the victims of Chitezi, as Carlo has said, I think the notes came in a little bit late for the staff to put their things together. Personally, I have come with mine, by the way, they are in the car, but we are going to put them together and uh, we shall add on, um, as GMS, we shall add on goods because for us, we don't normally uh, use cash because it is very scarce, but we shall give goods worth three million. Helping the victims and then staff will contribute and at an opportune time we shall deliver them to you for for you to pick them. Uh, family TV, thank you very much. Whoever organized this Miriam, uh, Reverend George, Dr. Ben, thank you very much. We can't take you for granted. Maybe you can make it more often to join the medical store so that we can yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? So that we can keep on, you know, uh, because in Africa, we have to be So we can take it for granted, and we think we can partner with you for, yeah? Yes. Uh, that lady Miriam is a big lady here in the JMS, and she, she handles some budget, so we shall talk about it. <laughs> we shall talk about it. I think we can partner with you. First of all, it's, I mean, church. Yeah, James is church founded, so it's like they are cousins or brothers. Just uh, family. Uh, uh, family, yeah. family is the better one, so I think we can go, um, yeah, we can work together more, even in, um, apart from preaching the word of God, but also uh, extending our services to the communities and making people understand what James stands for. Um, with uh, those few words, I uh, thank you very much for it. Thank you, Reverend George, for coordinating this. Thank you, Family TV. Thank you, our choir. Reverend Bay, we can't take it for granted. Thank you. For turning up in good numbers, we want to thank the Lord for blessing us this morning. It is indeed wonderful, I think, to serve in the Joint Medical Store yes. because I think if you did the census in Uganda and find out which companies have such a blessing, they are very few. So we don't take it for granted. We thank the Lord for it. We thank the choir. As usual, I want to add my voice to Carol. Thank you. Thank you. you know we appreciate you. By the way, we adopted them. They are now James Choir. Yes. So, uh, Reverend Doctor, when you want to take them, you have to go through us. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to thank Reverend George for always being there for us, for blessing us every day. And I uh, assure you that we are standing with you. The other day, I saw you on TV having a service there and I was like much as it was sad but I was like yeah that is our own blessing these people in each Tesi and uh, we shall be with you Reverend Dr. Ben thank you very much for the service <laughs> I was whispering to my colleague I first saw Dr. Ben many years ago you can't remember but back then in Gueranyaji these are the people who used to come for those exciting mission weeks. And the whole school will be on fire. Campus people have come, you know? <laughs> and he would, you know, he would bless us. And I was telling my colleague that Dr. Ben actually doesn't change that much. <laughs> Back then, you would think, because we were young, I was in senior one in 87. Yeah. Some of you are counting my years now. <laughs> but yes, that's how the Lord has loved me and blessed me. So they used to come and back then when you see uh, university students, they are like old. But now I see we are almost the same. <laughs> so thank you very much for standing with us, for giving us that word. Yes, indeed, God is love. We can't take it for granted. And for us in James, we know that very well. And as individuals, we thank the Lord for that's why he has brought us. They have told you we are 45 years giving the community the services that they deserve 
and that is in the healing ministry, providing quality services, health solutions, and for the glory of God. Again, how many companies have their vision that ends with God. So we are blessed as James, we are truly blessed and thank you very much. Regarding the victims of Chitezi, as Carlo has said, I think the notes came in a little bit late for the staff to put their things together. Personally, I have come with mine, by the way, they are in the car, but we are going to put them together and uh, we shall add on, um, as James, we shall add on goods because for us, we don't normally uh, use cash because it is very scarce, but we shall give goods worth three million. Helping the victims and then staff will contribute and at an opportune time we shall deliver them to you or call you to pick them. Uh, family TV, thank you very much. Whoever organized this, Miriam, uh, Reverend George, Dr. Ben, thank you very much. We can't take you for granted. Maybe you can make it more often to join the medical store so that we can. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? People, you know, uh, because nothing can do So we can take it for granted, and we think we can partner with you for yeah. Yes. Uh, that lady Miriam is a big lady here in the JMS, and she she handles some budget. So we shall talk about it. <laughs> we shall talk about it. I think we can partner with you. First of all, it's I mean church. Yeah, JMS is church founded, so it's like. They are cousins or brothers? Just uh, family. Uh, uh, family, yeah. family is the better one. So I think we can go, um, yeah, we can work together more, even in, um, apart from preaching the word of God, but also uh, extending our services to the communities and making people understand what Genesis stands for. Um, with uh, those few words, I uh, thank you very much for it. Thank you, Reverend George, for coordinating this. Thank you, Family TV. Thank you, our fire. Reverend Bay, we can't take it for granted. Thank you. Yeah, that's, the, that's like it. So thank you very much, Hidi, for the message delivered and for the contribution that we are going to put together with our own as staff to deliver to support the people who have suffered the Tizi catastrophe. While you were speaking about Dr. Ben, in fact, you were in Bwera Nyanji. I thought you must have said at the school, Amanya Papa Sabisha. But now, <laughs> it's nothing new. In other words, now we already knew Dr. Ben. So we are the ones who say, oh, who could know her? <laughs> so let's keep getting to know each other. And for the people who are watching us this morning, I would like to remind you that Joint Medical Store was founded by the Uganda Catholic Medical Bureau and the Uganda Protestant Medical Bureau. And our mission is quality, sorry, our vision is quality health solutions accessible to all for the glory of God. The purpose for which we were founded is to save lives. Thank you very much. Let's rise and conclude our service. Thank you. Thank you.